Today we will program our cool runner, then build and flash our NAND image. For this, you will need your motherboard prepared and Windows configured as shown in prior Wilson minutes. You will also need the cool runner timing files. Links are in the description. In these steps, it is easy to accidentally have the JR programmer connected to the cool runner and the power brick connected to the 360 at the same time. Make certain that you do not do this as it may physically damage your hardware. Reinstall your power board and fan with shroud. Connect your power and HDMI cable and try to boot. Unless you see the screen immediately, you will need to program your cool runner. Disconnect the power. Make sure that this switch is set to JTAG XSVF and connect your JR programmer to your cool runner. Open JRunner and click Advanced Custom NAND CR Functions. Click XSVF, then the three dots and select your first timing file. Click Run and confirm it was successfully written. Disconnect the programmer and reconnect the power. Try to boot again. If it still isn't showing the screen, try a different timing file. You will see the CPU key at the bottom. Type the CPU key into JRunner and confirm it is correct, not bad. Set the dash version to 17526 and type to glitch 2. Optionally, check the CR4 box which may decrease boot times. Click create ZBuild image and confirm it did so. Connect the JR programmer and power to your Xbox 360 but do not turn it on. Connect the JR programmer to the PC. Click write NAND and confirm it does. Unplug your programmer and your Xbox 360 should boot to the dashboard. Reassemble your 360 now if you're happy. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Wilson Minute. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and if applicable, watch the next and previous videos in this series. If you would like to help support this channel, I have listed ways to do so in the video's description. If it is broken, break it more.